Which brings us to the main event. <laughs> Funny you should mention all of that. The New Japan Cup winner, Evil, faces his former mentor, the IWGP World and I IWGP Intercontinental Champion Tetsuya Naido, with both belts on the line. So, Evil comes out with his Bullet Club friends. Naido comes out alone. Not a single Ingobernable in sight. And Red Shoes immediately dismisses the Bullet Club after they all do their hand signal thing. The too sweet deal. They all leave. So they start doing this match. Now I know New Japan matches, especially main events, when you know they're going to go long, they start very slow. They don't want to burn the crowd out early. They don't want to uh, 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 give them, you know, they, they, want, they want to give them, the, save the best stuff for the end. But this thing was so damn slow early. When they, they announce five minute intervals in New Japan matches. And when he announced the, they were 10 minutes into this match. And the only notable thing that had happened was Evil picking a fight with an announcer. Who, I, yes, I realize it's Milano, Milano Collection, and I guess they are, they have a long history together. And he was destroying Evil was destroying his own toys that uh, Milano had collected. So I, I get that was a big moment, but that was the only thing that happened in the first ten minutes of this match, dude. The big turning point in this match, like the first big major spot, was Evil putting Naito. Knees first through a table. Brutal. Ringside. Yes. This was 20 yeah. minutes into the match. Yes. That is accurate. And then they're just like, Evil's beating on him. Naito makes a comeback. Evil cuts him off, beats on him. Naito makes a comeback. Finally, they do the spot with the table. Turning point. Then Naito makes a comeback. <laughs> And evil cuts him off. Yep. And Naito makes a comeback. And evil... Fucking 25 minutes. So finally, Naito makes his big comeback. And he's going for the Destino. And it gets blocked in such a way that when I was watching it live doing the show with Dave, I was positive that they fucked up the lift. I know exactly just, what you're talking it about. It was a botch, okay? I, I was I sure it was a botch. Because because the, it, the, the move gets countered, if you want to call it that, and then everyone freezes like they don't know what to do. Yeah, nothing happens. Yes. So I thought, okay, let's see how they get back into this Destino. It's got to be a botch. Instead, they go right to a ref bump. Yep. Which means either they fucked it up and thought, well, if we go back to it, everyone's going to know it's a fuck up. So let's just, you know, pretend that the spot happened and then move on to whatever's next. Or it was supposed to look like that. One way or the other, it did not look smooth at all. So the ref oh, no. takes a bump. They cut to the long shot. And Giotto starts walking to the ring. Now, I'm not going to repeat my whole story that I told an Observer Live but I recommend listening to today's Observer Live for my other story about Giotto walking for nine years to get to the goddamn ring. Okay, but what I thought about watching it a second time here this afternoon, it was like they took C-3PO <laughs> and they dressed him up as Giotto, which you could do, by the way, because he's dressed head to toe with a fucking mask on, and you gave him a goddamn stick and you had him walk to the ring. It's fucking a spitting image. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing, because it's accurate. He's lurching and lurching to the ring. I'm already 25, 27 minutes in this match. I'm like, motherfuckers, come on. Giotto, get the fucking move on here. He's walking as slow as possible. And then, boom, out comes Ishimori. He hits the ring. He beats the living shit out of Naito. Giotto's still not at the ring yet. He keeps walking. He finally gets on the apron. And why is he there? To distract the ref because there's going to be interference. Now, the problem is the interference already fucking happened. And he wasn't at the ring yet. Ishimori ran so fast that he's in the ring beating up Naito, and the guy that's there to distract the ref hasn't even got to the ref yet. So he starts distracting the ref. 
Now Hiromu runs in. He attacks Ishimori. It's the best action in the match by a fucking country mile. Yes. And it's one spot. <laughs> Gives him the overhead belly to belly into the buckle. Hiromu then goes after Jado. And it is exactly like in a Star Wars movie where C-3PO and R2-D2 have got to have got to go from one end of a corridor to another and it happens to be a corridor where there's 85 stormtroopers all shooting and somehow C-3PO is walking as slowly as possible and not one goddamn laser hits him the entire time this is fucking Jotto fleeing Rome was beating the shit out of him and he's just slowly walking back towards the locker room now like three hours have passed in this match and then Naito just makes another comeback. It's like his fourth fucking comeback. My, my notes here read, I think Naito is coming back 30 minutes in. <laughs> so finally, I guess he's going for the Destino or whatever, and he gets the evil kick to the balls. He falls down clutching his testicles. Outruns a masked man who we're supposed to believe is Bushi. I feel like I'm covering the death of WCW right here. This fucking Bushi, like, I guess we'll make a WCW comparison. Let's say that the part of Bushi in WCW was Evan Courageous. Okay. okay? All right, that was a masked guy. Uh, let's say Jamie Noble when he was Jamie San. Sure. Okay. Mm. Now let's imagine. That they put Rick Steiner in a Zorro mask mm -hmm. and have him run down to the ring to pretend he's Jamie Son. There's no way, not one fucking person on this planet that was staying up till 3 o'clock a.m. watching this fucking show thought for one second that that could possibly be Bushi. He punches Naito. Evil Actually, hits everything is evil. He, he garrots Naito. <laughs> he pulls out a, a, a cord. It's a cord with two handles on it. It's a murder weapon designed to kill people and wraps it around Naito's neck and attempts to choke him to death. That's what Bushi did here. Okay, so he chokes the guy. Naito is dead. Evil hits everything is evil. And he pins him. Now, the best thing about the match was when Evil gets the pin, the audience and Red Shoes can't believe what just happened. They're in shock. Evil wins both titles. He is the IWGP. He is the the uh, uh, Intercontinental. Intercontinental Champion. And Tag Team Champion. So he's actually a triple champion right now. Six-man champion. Six-man champion. So he's, he's the winner. And the gist of all of this is this was an angle designed... As a 40 minute wrestling match. If you're going to do an angle, please don't make me watch a 40 minute wrestling match to get to the fucking point. They could have done this in 16 minutes. In 18 minutes, it would have been, it would have been significantly better, in fact. But instead, they dragged it out and dragged it out and dragged it out. Interference in front of the ref, violence in front of the ref, run ins in front of the ref. 95 people have run in over the last couple of days. I'm over it. If you loved it, great. And, I mean, the good news is, Ghetto decided, I'm going to go all the way with evil, and this motherfucker went all the way with evil. So I got to give him credit for that. He's not like Vince, no. who's fucking wishy-washy, and he no. can't make up his goddamn mind, and he's got to give Roman Reigns six coronations and get cold feet on every single fucking one of them. Ghetto decided, we're going to get this fucking guy over, and in two nights, Evil is now the number one guy in New Japan with three fucking belts, and he's in charge of the Bullet Club. So, from, the, from that perspective, yes. like, more power to him. That's how you do it. But actually watching it unfold, this was not a classic moment in the history of New Japan. So I want to talk a little about the match itself a little bit and then a little more of the big picture stuff. So, I mean, we've already established the, 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 how, how, how little not happened actually happened in this match, how, uh, how much we had to sit through for it to get no payoff at the end. But I don't think we've properly expressed 
just how dull the body of this match was. There were points in the first half of this match where I was legitimately in my head thinking, am I watching Edge Orton Mania number two? <laughs> is, is this going to be 40 minutes where absolutely nothing happens? Fortunately, some stuff happened in the second half. So it was much better in the end than Edge and Orton at WrestleMania. It was not very good. By the standards of New Japan main event matches, I would have to think it's the worst one I've seen. Uh, it was a lot of inactivity, a lot of repetitiveness, a lot of redundancy, and a lot of the same ref bump, constant interference, screw jobs that apparently has been going on throughout the New Japan Cup and has the story of evil. It's the story of, it was the story of Jay White when it was his turn. It was the story of Bullet Club really since their, their, their inception. It's been done. And it's the, uh, personally, it's the kind of stuff that I don't want to see when I watch New Japan. I want New Japan to be the king of sports. And there's room in there for promos and sneak attacks and rivalries and all that kind of stuff. But let the actual sport be a sport and let the circus go around it. So there is that. Uh, there is Takahashi was, in fact, the star of this match in his one minute of action. And also, by the way, where the hell is the rest of it, Los Gobernables? Where's the real Bushi? Where's Sonata? Where's where's Shingo? He's know. in the group, isn't he? What? Where? Why was we didn't even mention, by the way, that the fake Bushi is Dick Togo. Oh yeah, Dick Togo. It. it <laughs> the first time I saw Dick Togo was on ECW's inaugural pay per view in 1997, and I was a part of the main event act in New Japan in 2020. And that's not a knock. That's not a complaint. That's just amazing. <laughs> 